everybody, Kaius23 here, and welcome back to Space Astronomy. So, I haven't really done too, too much in between episodes, just made a whole bunch of stuff. I've been working on the quantum armor, I've been working on quests. This now automatically makes... Uh, the service quartz. Charge service quartz. Let's make 32 more. So we chug those in there. It throws them in here, it charges them up, and then boop, it takes them out and put them back into the ME system. Ha ha ha. These things are just part of the quest. Not really planning on using them too much. Figured might as well put them out if they're part of it. Made a second drive, and then these were part of a quest, so I figured I'd shove those in there. There's actually a lot of quests to grab. I made the Quarry Plus, which... Let me tell you, never again. That thing is annoying to make. First you have to make a workbench plus, which, not easy. And then to make a quarry plus... Quarry plus, yeah. 32 diamonds, 32 gold, 64 iron, 16 redstone, and 2 ender pearls. What? Yeah, and then you needed 4 of these marker pluses, which... It's expensive. I don't even know what this enchant mover is for, and I don't care about that one. But yeah, that was annoying to make. Almost done with this section. This part, still need more diamonds for. Still working on diamonds. I do have a few, but I've been using for other stuff. Quintonium is that purple armor. Or purple stuff. This stuff. And then I went back to Diona... I put a digital miner there. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. I put a digital miner down to get some more of that quadronium because I needed it. And instead, it gave me something else. Not a D. It gave me fron fronsnium. I didn't even know that was on that place. So, two packs for the price of one. So, we'll just shove this armor in here. We're getting closer. And then the storage system is the one I've been working on with everything here. The uh, deep storage unit, it needs Eyes of Ender, which is going to be a pain in the neck. I just realized something. I want export buses. Don't need you. Don't need you. Acceleration card. And then we'll just shove this one in here. Oh! oh lots of marble. Sweet. Also! Where is it? Nope. I found the, the uh, end fortress. Way over here. Oh, man. Not that lag. Thought I'd get rid of you. This is where a lot of my Ender Pearls slash Eyes of Ender went. Was to find this stupid thing. Oh. Sweet. Thought it despawned on me. Well, I have one. Where's. There you are. I dug straight down, and boom. Got into the fortress. Not really sure it's called a fortress, but just whatever it is. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm just going to have horrible luck and it's not going to be a complete thing. Oh, please don't tell me. You go. Okay. Oh, don't you dare tell me. Son of a 
Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I have to do some digging here. I'll probably do it off camera just to figure out where the heck this stupid portal thing is. Oh, hey. They kind of just spawn on top of each other? Is that what happened? Confused right now. Um. So fortress kind of spawned in on itself. I don't care about any of those things. I just want to. Find the freaking Oh, oh where are you? <laughs> oh man. So I wonder if we got a dead a dud fortress. Ooh. Hello. Dud fortress or not, I will take those creeper essence berries. Oh, man. That totally blows. That's a lot of copper. I don't need copper. <laughs> I know I need the iron, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And if every now and then the screen freezes, that is actually the game freezing up on me. Don't know why it's doing that. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, emerald. <laughs> Not like I really need it. Pretty much, you have to destroy this whole thing just to. I'll take the door. Don't need the cobble. Silverfish soul. Well, that's gonna be really freaking annoying. figure that out myself. You know, one thing I never did look at. Is these actually craftable? Aw, oh, man. Oh, don't want to do that. Alright, so we'll have to figure out where the heck... Well, I'll figure out where the heck the stupid, uh, thing is. Oh, something I forgot to show you guys last time. Is I put a wireless charger in here. So now all of my stuff will automatically charge whenever I'm at base. You, you, cobble. Stone. Silver nugget. You, you. gold in there. Alright. Okay, I got the 
Tesseract, Cable, the Frame, and the Teleporter. Yep, alright. So we get to do two places today. Boop. Yeah, the tier 5 is on Dionoa, Diana, Diana, how you pronounce that one? I'm terrible with names, if you can't tell. Oh, hello. That just appeared out of nowhere with the sound. But yeah, the tier 5 schematic is there. I'm still hunting it down. I did another dungeon, the whole reason why I went back there, and planted the digital miner. And I got a buggy. A non buggy, uh, astro miner. Which I'm, I might need to look up that on how to set that whole thing up. Because that might be useful for our first place. Maybe. The Joe Miner probably still better. The Astro Miner just looks cool. <gasps> Ooh. Set up the Astro Miner to mine out the area where the end portal is. Supposedly, end portal is. But we're going to the asteroids. Launch. I've never been to the asteroids. Couldn't tell you what they're about. Except I know that there's not connection between them, so you can fall and die. Oh, hello. I'm in an entry pod. Am I gonna miss? No. Are you? Are there actually little asteroids that fly around? Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so we'll do like we always do. And Put it right there. Do and do and set you to home, and we'll hook you up to asteroids. Sweet. All right, now let's explore around a little bit. Now, if you can tell, asteroid has the name supply. There's a bunch of asteroids. Okay, not stopping there. Of course, you got your typical frost ones. As far as I know, there's no dungeon here. But there is supposed to be some good ores and stuff. Oh, that is a lot of silicon ore. Not like I was ever running low on that in the first place. Holy free holies. Well, if I ever need silicon ore, I know exactly where to come to. Let's uh, dig straight down and get to the bottom of the asteroid. Alright. So there's silicon here, but that's not what we're looking for. I'm guessing what we're looking for is going to be on one of the darker rocks. And that is titanium. such luck.
shoot. <laughs> well, this is why you always keep a backup pick. Whee! Let's go down to one of these. You know what? I'm going to have to put my thing in there and use my sword. How long has it been since I've used this sword? So let's dig into this one. This is like where the Astro Miner would come in handy. But wait, the Astro Miner is part of the regular Galactic Craft. So where would I normally find it? Iron. Not looking for iron. Oh, there's. Oh, this is an iron one. want this thing to go get charged up oh yes so I guess it just all depends on the meteor with what we're looking for like this meteor is an iron meteor I think the helmet and the body piece were the only ones, but... Recharge! Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Great. Okay, so... Can't recharge it. Poop. Oh, I'm glitching out there. So yeah, this is you piece of iron just floating in space. Yes, you are. This is this is the uh, asteroids. This is actually really cool. What type of asteroid are you? Reminds me a little bit of Empyrean with the different asteroids that land on the ground that you have to mine. A new hat. Coming through the side here. If I'm going to have to start using this pick more, I should probably put haste on it. Or see what other type of pickaxes there are. Is this an empty asteroid? I think this is an empty asteroid. Oh man. Now I remember why I have so much slime sitting in my ME system. What I'll have to do is I'll have to pull uh, 
the digital miner from Diona and put it here. We'll just dig out through the bottom. I don't feel like dealing with all the monsters up top. Hey. Yeah, I guess the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to jump from there to a different rock or something. And just keep going like this. What are you? Let's see, with the ability to fly, you don't gotta worry about that. So that's all iron. Drive-by. All I'm seeing is iron and aluminum. There's supposed to be titanium here, which is how the easy way to get it. Because you're supposed to come here before going to Diana. I was like, what the heck kind of monster are you? It's an air whale. I was going to say, if you make that, I'm going to be very surprised. I mostly just want to show you guys that there is titanium here and not that I'm a liar. I guess... Oh, man. I need magnum torch or something here. See, now it works. Alright, so let's drop some stuff off back at base and charge everything up. Straight rock, silicon, red hearts. But I got all this room in there. Might as well. Go set you guys back up to begin feeling. And we're going to head back to the asteroids real quick. And every now and then, what something I have been doing is just taking a stack of coal coke and shoving it in there. And it gives everything like a huge burst of energy, which is useful. And no, I don't have a full set of quantum armor yet. I got the boots. Still waiting on the chest piece. Let's see here. Each iridium plate takes four iridium, and the chest plate takes four iridium plates. So I need 16 iridium. Oh, I found some of the nugget theme bobbers in the Diona dungeon. I know this kills this thing fast, but... You're an iron one? Yes, you are. I think most of them are iron, and it's going to be rare that one is titanium. Or there's going to be titanium in the middle of an iron one. Or there could be diamonds, too. Oh! Duh! There's Vein Miner. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Whoa. Your aluminum. I totally forgot there was a Vein Miner. So see how much I use that mod.
actually some pretty cool looking rock. Aha! Ilmenite. Turns into titanium with the shards, turn into the ingots. It wasn't going crazy. What the heck are these things? Iron shards. That is a lot of freaking. Oh, I don't have my magnetizer thingy either. Shoot. Yeah, I totally forgot to put that back onto my modular suit. Every time I log off, it disables it, so I kind of just stopped trying to put it on every time. And of course, the one time I actually need it. Did I just fill up my inventory? Holy crap, I did. Well, this is a good way to get, uh, titanium cheese. And iron. Holy crap. Ah, something in my eye. Still finding more. Holy crap, how much did we take out? That's just one asteroid too, by the way. Don't need the slime. Yeah, that's just one asteroid. Now remember, each shard turns into one titanium. Each shard turns into one iron. I think we're going to be set for a very long time. I'm close this. Oh! Can I shoot it? The heck? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Having fun with that one. So let's go smelt all this up. And now, if I ever need to, I can go back there without having to worry about showing you guys everything. I don't think these asteroid rocks can be used for anything, can they? It can be turned into... all that in there. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we'll toss all that in there. Alright. Now we got the... Oh, we can... Uh... Eh, I'll uh, get that done between. So now we're going to go to Demos, Demios, Demios, Demos, Dumos. Something else that I'm going to probably do, get rid of these mini farms here and make two farming stations from Ender IO. Because apparently, from one video I saw, these essence berries can be mined by a farming station. And then another video showed ender lilies being mined. I don't know about either of them, so I can test. What the heck was that? 
I'll test them before I do it so I'm not wasting resources on a farming station. Especially if I don't need it. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Uh, takes forever to get into space. You know, I, I, I wish each rocket would be faster for getting up into actual space. Hurry up. Entity dot more planet dot tier rocket four no something. Um, it's around Mars, isn't it? E. Emios. All right, here we go. Here we go now. Okay, enough for the hamster dance. Oh, dang it. Gotta stop doing that. Ooh, I like the color. It's very orange. And he sticks it. So, J. New points, new landing. Boop, boop. Now, as far as I know, like Phobos, there's nothing here. There's no dungeon or anything. I mean, there's probably resources and everything, but we'll take a quick look around. Doop. I don't know if there's villages like Phobos. We'll have to see. To do. I just went back towards my spawn. Whoopsies. Oh, there's villages. Phobos Rock. Palace Chandrite. Man, I can't wait for Galacticraft to actually update. I really hope it goes to 1.10 soon. Because I'm making a pack for 1.10.2. I'd love to put Galacticraft in there. Don't worry, the pack you'll see will be put on the channel. It's for something I want to do. Don't know how much I want to use the pack though, if I want to make it as my server pack 2. Because I want to make a server for myself. Not for myself, but I've had this idea for a server that I want to do, and I was thinking of doing either 1.10.2 or 1.7.10. Each has their own mods that I would like to have in there. Only reason one by 1.10.2 is winning to me is because it's a little bit more polished in terms of actual Minecraft. But 1.7.10 has all the really good mods. But then there's some mods in that one that are updated to 1.10, which are better than the 1.7 versions. So it's kind of trade-ons, trade-ons and trade-offs that I need to consider, and I don't know which one. Actually, I think I already deleted all the 1.7.10 stuff and just decided to do 1.10. Wouldn't be that hard to get 1.7 stuff back, though. Like... One 1 1.7 mod that I would rather have is the Monster Hunter one, which adds like the Rothalos, the Wyverns, uh, I forget some of the bigger guys. 
That's a lot of huge bosses that I could say, oh, hey, vent boss time. Everyone get ready. You know, stuff like that. But 1.10 has... Um... Well, it's more polished for one thing. What mod does it have that I've wanted more than 1.7? Well, immersive engineering is updated. Considering putting, uh... It's a mod called Extraordinary Weapons, which is all 3D weapons. But... I'd have to turn off explosive damage since everything does explosive damage. Do not want people destroying everything. Uh, I think there's Batania. If Thumbcraft updates anytime soon, I guess Thumbcraft 6 is actually in the works. Uh, Mechanism, my favorite mod. Pro probably my favorite mod. Um... There's a few others that I have that are really cool. There's a whole bunch of farming stuff. Oh, uh, what was it? There was one that I can't... I can't remember its name. Alright, let's start heading back. Yeah, um... Shoot. Kingdom Keys. Kingdom Keys Recoded. I put that in there. There's dash tin, iron, copper, and chondrite rock. What the heck is chondrite? Since I really don't feel like bringing the digital miner here. We'll just grab everything while we're here. But chondrite rock? The heck do you get that? Chondrite rock. How much of this rock do I need? Oh, got enough. I need more tin and more dash. Hey, there's dash. Don't really need either, but. Yeah, since it's part of the class, gotta do it. I just need some more dash. So unsettling, not having any sounds. Okay. There's some. I mean, I have all the freaking dash I'll ever need. Yay! Getting closer to beating this. <laughs> have your oxygen tank and liquid oxygen. Shitty. Uh, yeah. There we go. Where am I? There I am. No, actually, you know what? I'm just going to shove this here. Yeah, there's no dungeons here. It's mostly just come here and collect the resources. You're done. Oh, I made the buggy. Totally forgot to show you guys. Because I didn't have the... I was trying to hand in the quest and say it was done so this episode I could just you know collect it and it wasn't reading that I had made the bucky so I went to click manual select and it said complete quest 
so accidentally clip completed that quest. What the heck? Did I collect the rocket? Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Yeah. Lots of... Asteroids are really cool. Deimos? Eh, not so much. But next time... We'll have a tier 5 rocket. And shove that one in. What does the tier 5 even look like? I know with the tier 5, she needs some, a lot of stuff. 5. Ooh, it's all blue. Yeah, heavy duty plates, you need the compressed quantonium and quest front frosnium with the tier 4 heavy plates, which titanium and dash. This one's going to be the only hard part. Yeah. Tier 5. A block? Eh, so not that bad. This, this is easy. I have a ton of that Quintonium. And then, Tier 5 Dungeon is going to be the Polongius. Alright. So, you saw what we're doing next time. Oh, I, I want to show you guys something before we go completely. Look how much quartz we have. 5,144. Where did I get a spawn squid from? Oh. I haven't fueled it at all, but... Didn't toss it in there. Buggy! You sit down in this, you can ride it. But it has no fuel right now. So it just kind of sits here. We should start using this bad boy. Uh, I don't think it saves the feeling thing. Oh. So yeah, next time I will have all materials ready for a tier 5 rocket. And I'll have to find the schematic, but well, it, th that shouldn't be too hard. Jeez. Looking back, I still remember when we had that little 3x3 three three wooden hut here that kept getting blown up at night and kept dying. And then eventually we made a bigger house with just the walls and I was working on the outside part. And this came along. There was a tiny little forge there with individual little parts. And then the groundwork for this thing started, and the clearing of the land started. We actually had a little dirt ramp here to get up this way. Ah, oh, man. This used to be a whole hill here. Eventually just got cleared out. Man, memories. Now look at this place. Got machines running 24-7. Huge arc furnaces and crushers and portals all over. Yeah, I need to build a bigger reactor. Got machines all over the place. Remember in here having the chest all over the place. Having these holes empty. Oh, we don't have enough lava. Uh, those were the days. Yeah, eventually I want to move everything into that chest. Like, all this stuff. So I can just get rid of all these chests laying around.
Go ahead. So yeah, like I said, next episode, we'll take care of all the tier 5 stuff and head to Pologanus or something like that. And I might have changed the farm setup by then. I don't know if I'm going to test it. Oh. Uh, I totally didn't get the nether started up. Oopsies. This is what happens when I don't go into the nether to start something up. And now everything is going to start running out of power. Yeah. Alright, so until next episode, take it easy.